as we've been talking about, you know, uh, spiritual resilience, measuring it, and the role of religion, I just want to emphasize that, that it has to be, whatever is done, whatever is even supported, whatever is supported or done, needs to be, again, based on the religious beliefs, the religious understanding of the person, of the military person that it has to be centered on their beliefs, not upon other people's beliefs, but upon their beliefs. You, you meet the person where they're at, and then you walk with them, you know, you, you walk with them and you help to support and, and gently guide as, as they are working themselves through their religious, spiritual um, pathway. That is really the way to do it. I, I think the chaplains really taught beautifully how to do this. But it's very important, very important to be centered on the faith of the soldier, again, the military personnel, who, however you want to phrase this, the core person, core, core man, core woman, um, you know, in, in, in addressing this. Because it's just, it, first of all, um, you can't do it any other way you know, because we're in a pluralistic society and there's freedom of religion and you can't do it any other way and it doesn't work any other way. See, that, that's the funny thing. I've had people argue with me, they say, well, I have to be true to my religious faith when I'm, when I'm counseling. And I say, look, I mean, you may be true to your religious faith, but you know, it's not going to help. The, the, uh, the old saying was, was by, uh, um, I think Francis of Assisi, you know, they, they asked, his followers asked him, should we spread the gospel? You know, and he said, yes. And he said, uh, they said, well, how? He said, if absolutely necessary, but only if absolutely necessary, use words. So most of what, what you're doing as a chaplain has to do with living your faith, living your faith for that that person in many respects by loving them, by loving them radically in a radical way of, of committing. And, and you know, people see that, they know it, they just know it. It's just something that you, <laughs> you sense. You know, the normal person will sense this. And as a chaplain is doing, as they work on their own faith, as they deepen their faith, and they begin living that faith and they're surrendered, their life is surrendered, um, they can then love that, that, that person, um, that person who has been traumatized, that person who's out in battle, who's coming back, who's, who's tired, who's wounded. They can then love them in a way where they are sharing their faith in a way that that person can hear it. Otherwise, they just can't hear it, and it's, it's a waste. That, that's why it has to be centered on the Corman's beliefs, on their beliefs. Because when it's centered on their beliefs, whatever they are, if they're spiritual, if they're not religious, you're not going to force religion. You're going to say, well, well, how are you spiritual? Let's talk about that. You, you, you find out where they are, which may take some, some time, and provide a safe place where they feel comfortable sharing their really their, their their feelings how they're feeling where they feel comfortable they're not going to be criticized they're not going to be condemned about no matter what they say that 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 this is a safe place and that you can meet them there and they can share with you and they will be loved regardless and you, I, I think when you do that that's when you're going to really see the opening up you're going to see the person progress in in their faith journey wherever they are they're going to move along and as they progress they will be, become more resilient across the board as I was talking about earlier mentally physically and relationally that resilience will grow as they as they even incrementally move along that path so there's there's no pushing that no no pushing it too quickly it's it's allowing in some respects to transcend it, to guide, to direct, and to make whatever is going to happen, happen.